All right, what is up guys? Jared Campisi with the beautiful Christina K and our brand new 2020 C8 Corvette. It has finally arrived. It's one of the first ones in California. Shout out to Bun and Chevrolet for helping us get this bad boy and all of you guys who watch and support the channel. Um, we're gonna be showing you guys around the car today. Christina already did a taking delivery video. Make sure to check out her channel. Subscribe to both of us. Turn those notifications on so you never miss a video because this is our car. We're keeping this one and we're gonna be on a journey with this bad boy, putting mods on it. It's gonna be incredible. Incredible. So make sure you're subscribed, tap that bell notification, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. So as I mentioned, the brand new 2020 C8 Corvette, we did get the 3LT package fully loaded. We got the front lift, we got magnetic ride, uh, Z51 performance package. It's almost like everything you can get. Uh, the only parts we really took off were the carbon fiber exterior options because they just weren't available. Uh, we do have black Trident wheels that will be installed uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow, uh, that'll be up on Christina's channel. Um, and we also have a big dick wing that will be installed shortly. Um, we're gonna be actually in this video, I'm gonna be just kind of showing you guys the car, talking about it, giving you some first impressions. We're gonna stop by SB Tint Designs and talk to them about doing a wrap and he's also gonna tint it for us. So we have a lot of stuff coming for this car. We're gonna be taking it down to Full Throttle Customs. He's gonna be doing uh, a baseline uh, dyno pool for us. We're gonna be tuning it. We're gonna be getting an exhaust on it, all kinds of stuff. There's, it's, I'm really, really excited. Uh, we do need wrap ideas. If you have ideas, drop them in the comment section below. We'll talk more about that in the meantime. Uh, her little bro Alex is here with us. Jeremy's also with us. We're gonna be social distancing, taking two cars, so don't worry about that. Teens, do you wanna give them a cold start? V8, uh, 500 horsepower, naturally aspirated. Let's hear the sporty sound. Woo! That is beautiful. So does it start? in whatever mode you leave it off. So it's in touring right now. Yeah. So go ahead and put it in sport. It should open the valves for us. Yeah, the interior of this car, guys, absolutely incredible. One of my favorite parts of the car, surprisingly. Um, I love the sound of the exhaust on the outside of the car. I think it's a little bit quiet when you're inside the car driving, unless you have the windows down. So yeah, dude, here it is, guys. The first ever Corvette with the engine in the back. And oh my God, I'm so excited. So let's hop in and take it for a spin. So I wanna show you guys the interior here. As I mentioned, three LT package, which means fully loaded, uh, leather on all surfaces. Uh, we did get the GT2 competition seats um, with the carbon fiber interior package. So the seats have carbon, which is awesome. Uh, there's carbon right here, which is beautiful. Uh, there's carbon right in this area and then carbon around the dash and i think it's just enough carbon to be really classy but also really nice something crazy about this you can put your phone right here and if uh, you have a case that allows it or you take it out of the case it just wirelessly charges the phone pretty insane uh, we went with the black interior with the red stitching which is why you see that and the red seat belts you can see it on tina wieners there tina wiener <laughs> and we also did the um transparent roof so that we could suction cup GoPros up there and for more lighting when we're filming in here. It's like perfect lighting in here. Teens, what do you think of this bad boy? I'm in love. Yeah, it's a really nice car. It makes car. my heart melt every time I look at it. Big old smile on my face. Yeah, I, this is the first car Christine and I have ever purchased. So, oh sorry, the first new car that we've ever bought. I've had old cars throughout my life, but I, they've always been used or leased. This is the first one that we actually bought. So this is our first new car. We're really, really excited to share this experience with you guys. And um, the crazy thing is guys, the GM factory actually shut down. Uh, the VIN number on our car is a 1060, I think or 64 or something like that. So we were one of the first thousand cars that were built and luckily we got it shipped out in time um, because they are now shut, the factory shut down because of the coronavirus, uh, which means they're not gonna be building any cars for the foreseeable future. So uh, we were lucky to get one of the first cars in California and one of the only cars probably for a little while. So sorry for everyone who's waiting on your cars. Sorry for those who have been affected by this virus. It really does affect everyone. Uh, we're doing our best to do our part, social distancing, but we still wanna create content since everyone's sitting at home and um, yeah it is what it is we'll get through it that's what we do so we have had the car for a, 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 what this is our second day with the car but we drove it a lot we've already got what I guess 70 miles not that much <laughs> but miles we've had enough time to kind of feel it out get to know everything and I think the thing that I'm most impressed with is this interior like the interior the gauge cluster it is incredible it's so like 
this works so well, the touch display. It's really easy to use, it's super fast, crisp. It, it's just like a smartphone, basically. Everything's super intuitive. This uh, dash is incredible. It's completely customizable. It changes with every mode. I'll show you what track mode looks like. Hold on one second. Oh, you were in touring, huh? Yeah. There's sport, and then here's track. Look at how freaking badass that is, guys. Um, the dual clutch transmission is absolutely incredible. It shifts with lightning speed. I'll do a, like a whole first drive and review in the future. This is kind of just our taking delivery first impressions video. But um, there's After something- After we go to Hector, you can drive it. <laughs> there we go, yeah. There's something about the interior, just the, the lines of it and, and just the way that it's laid out the seats, how comfortable they are, um, just with everything being brand new, the engine being right behind you, like you feel really special in here. Like it's a, it, it feels like a supercar. Um, I don't think, I'll, I'll say that for another video, I don't think the base model is technically a supercar yet. For me, it's a little soft on the suspension, it needs a little bit more horsepower, um, but it's definitely looks wise, supercar for sure i think the performance maybe mainly the handling of suspension i think it's just a little bit off what a supercar would be but teams is green but um check this out this is some really cool feature right here so the rear view mirror you can have it set on mirror or you can have it set on camera oh there we go sounds pretty damn good huh so, good. so for the first 500 miles, I was watching a video of Jay Leno and one of the head Corvette technicians. Okay, there we go. Give her a little beans. Oh my it's freaking yeah. badass. So you hear the motor more than you hear the exhaust. Yeah. Which is cool, but I want to hear both. So that's why we definitely need a, a, a louder exhaust, which will be one of the first things we do once we have a chance. But um, the Corvette technician said that the rear axle system is on. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Anyway, the Corvette technician on the Jay Leno Garage episode said that for the first 500 miles, the car only gives you, I think, 60 or 70% of the power. They also don't want you going over 4,500 RPMs. It shows you on the red line. You can actually see it right there if you look at it. Um, it lets you go past 4,500 RPMs, but it just has it on there to remind you that, hey, you're still braking in your car, be careful with it, all that kind of stuff. So it'll be interesting to see if we notice a difference between the break-in period at 500 miles, we'll take it back to Corvette or our Chevy dealer, but in, and we'll get the break-in service done and all that kind of stuff. So it'll be interesting to see if it changes the feel of it and all, but it's a really good car, guys. I'm very, very impressed with this thing. Is it better than the AMG GTR? I say yes. No. <laughs> It's not. Better value, absolutely. But it's, it doesn't give you the track car feel that the GTR does. No, it um, doesn't give you that feeling. No. But, but, I think what... Well, exactly. Crazy. It's half the price. The price it's half the price. price. Yeah, so. Another thing I want to mention is, as a passenger, I have a lot of space in this cabin. And as a driver, you do too. But I thought by being a little bit disconnected because of this bar here it's really kind of nice to have your own area honestly even being with you know when i'm riding with my girlfriend obviously but i mean there's you can still reach everything i can still see see the dashboard i can still use the infotainment system it's just driver oriented you know i'm in charge yeah doesn't <laughs> it feel like you're driving like like you're playing a video game almost, right? Yeah. Because of all the stuff. Like Spaceship. it's yeah, it's fucking badass. And it, like yeah. the future is what I feel it, like I'm driving. It's nice. They did a really good job with this interior. But I'm five feet ten, 180 pounds, and I'm you know I work out, I lift weights, I'm you know, I have pretty wide, and I fit Do in you here. Have big muscles? I fit in here great. <laughs> that's what I was getting at. I'm very jacked, guys. Um, but no, I fit in here great, and and that's really important to me because I like to really sit back and put my seat back. I have plenty of space in here, and they did a really good job with that. Lots of headroom too, so this is this is a really good car. All right, give us a rev. Don't run into Alex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you can pull in both paddles to go into neutral. But it's still it slides backwards. Yeah, well, so you, you went into neutral it. that way. That's gonna still let it slide backwards I know. too. You can just put it in park. That's the safest. It way. needs to be in park because yeah. if someone's parked too close behind. You can you, run into them while you're revving. Yes. <laughs> so I'm gonna just show you guys the front lift. Look at that. It's going up right now and then you can thank you and then you can drive up over high things and there's a button in there you can press that will allow you to lift the front end and then you can actually remember that location up to a thousand locations are stored so we're here at SP tint design let's uh, let's talk to Hector so uh, we noticed that when the front end 
is lifted, you have to go a certain speed in order for it to go back down or you have to manually do it, which is what she's doing right now. Press it, teens. There it is, look at that. Let's get a couple revs here. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh my God. All right, this is Hector from SB Tint Designs. If you want, you can just press the two, use my memory setting. See if that, check it out. It adjusts the mirrors, the steering wheel, everything. Teens is the uh, key in here. Go ahead and press the on button. You can watch the dash, it's ridiculous. Wow. The dash is, I think, the best part of the car, you know? That right there. Isn't that crazy? Anyway, we were looking at wrap ideas. Now, at the end of the day, technically, this is Christina's car, so she's gonna get the final say. <laughs> But this is what I found. Um, so the C8R Corvette, this is the racing version of the car. Um, this is their paint scheme. So what I was thinking is since we have red and black accents for the interior and the calipers, um, I thought if the silver was black and then the yellow was red, I think that would look really, really good. And it would match our spec really, really well. And I think I have another photo of it right here. Look at that, guys. Imagine that. Silver and black and then all those yellow as red. I think that would look incredible. Uh, he's gonna tint the windows for us. I think we're gonna hold off on paint protection because we'll probably get to just wrap it uh, within the next month. So, I don't know, that's my idea. I don't know what you guys think. What do you think, teens? What do you guys think? I think we can do better. <laughs> yeah? Show me. <laughs> Show me. I haven't done research yet. People this love is, to be a critic. Drop, People but. love to be a critic, but nobody ever comes up with ideas. They just make fun of, they just shoot down what I say. All, all I said is just, we can we could maybe there's some more. Then show, <laughs> then show me. We just gotta get to work. We, 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 to work. we know we can do that. I'll go do some paint. Forza. Okay. <laughs> I'll cut muscle or something. Dude, what do you think? I need to I need to see it. It's hard to see it with all the stickers do some and, and yeah, I need to see it in the colors. If you guys have ideas, send them to us on Instagram. Well, I'll put my Instagrams on the screen right here. Uh, Khalil and Jared Campisi. Uh, send us ideas. If you're good at Photoshop or you have ideas, send them to us because we're open to anything. I think it should match somehow. Tie in the red would be nice, but other than that, like go wild. All right, so Hector was showing us some of his new colors. One of his new colors is this black matte black metallic which looks absolutely incredible and then there's also this satin smoldering red so it'd be kind of like a satin finish we were just making sure the red was close enough to the calipers which it totally is because it won't be next to them anyway so i think the car being primarily satin or that black metallic with the red accents look at that guys looks badass can you picture that <laughs> that could be sick and then figuring out oh god no <laughs> silver chrome Figuring out the, the design for it could, that's just a matter of playing around with Photoshop, figuring out the lines that look best on the car. You know, like whether we, I like tracing these lines here. I like these two lines, how they have those like stripes right here and then they could go across the, the hood. You can see that, or I'm sorry, the top right here. The stripes could go across the top right here and then just follow this all the way down and then basically stop right there. Let that be all black. Do some red down here, follow this line probably, like the racing one did all the way down to there, that would look super cool. And then add accent pieces in, in parts, whether it's the mirrors, uh, this door sills, stuff like that. So, I don't know, could be really, really sick. Look at that startup, guys. It pulls out like all the way from the motor into the car picture, it looks so freaking cool. We're turning on the car. So this isn't my first drive. I have driven the car. I wonder if it stays in... I have so much room over here, it's crazy. Yeah, you're so tiny. You're like... So amazing. I love those red seat belts. They add so much to the car. I love this car. I know. I it feel is. like this wasn't silver, but... I like it as silver. It like, provides a little bit of black. contrast, but... Man, you really feel special sitting right here, guys. Like... You feel... You, re you rest your hand right here. It... Oh, man. It feels like a video game. That's what it feels like to me. Okay, let's get out of here. So another thing I really like about this car is the camera system. Backup camera, obviously you have a bunch of different options. And then when you go front ways, again, a bunch of different options. You can just show just the front. You can change, put things on and off, zoom in and out. It's really impressive, very high quality and very, very helpful. Front lift, let's see if it's gonna do it automatically. Did you save this location? Mm-hmm. Okay. What if I hit remember? I don't know if it, is that, which way am I going? Right. Or yeah, left. it's so nice to not scrape everywhere. The Z06 was so much easier to scrape. And then once you go a certain speed, I think it puts it back down for you. Let's see. Nope, it, there it is, vehicle lowering. So once you hit 25, it lowers for you. 
freaking craziness, dude. This thing's so badass. Okay, let's go to Ducati. I'm gonna stop in and show them the car. All right, so just got to the Ducati dealer showing the boys the car. Preston, what do you think of it? Cool. Yeah, Preston's a car guy. Look, it's pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool. <laughs> I was, he was saying put a blower on it, but I don't think you can because of where the frame is and where the motor is. So I think twin turbo is the move, which is what everyone's doing already. So yeah, it's pretty badass. Uh, we're going to be down here tomorrow to work more on the BMW. We're trying to keep the social distancing stuff going on. Uh, the service department for Ducati Santa Barbara is open if you need service done. Uh, the front is closed for now, so that's the dealio. I showed you guys how there's a camera on this. It actually is really dope and you can change all like the settings, the brightness, how it moves around and everything, zoom in and out. For me driving, I always glance at it and for whatever reason when I glance at the camera it makes me feel cross-eyed. Do, do you have that problem, Jeans? No, I actually enjoy it. Oh, okay. I use it. I, I think maybe I'll get used to it, but for now I actually prefer just the regular, like I can still see what I need to see. The mirrors are really good, the visibility in this car is great. Yeah, so this needs an exhaust. That's not loud enough for me. <laughs> Probably because we had the C7, the Z06 with the uh, Army, Army Tricks. Tricks exhaust. That sounded ridiculous. Um, it needs it needs a louder exhaust, and I think it needs like 100 more horsepower. And, and once again, because we had a 700 horsepower Z06, but the the my main issue with the C7 Corvette was the transmission. That old transmission was dog shit. You pretty much just had to leave it in automatic. It was not even worth using. These are incredible. This new dual clutch is as good as any dual clutch I've been in. Uh, the AMG, the Lamborghini, the R8, it's just instant. It's instant switching up or down, up. It's just as soon as you hit it, it's awesome. So that is like a big, big improvement. This also has magnetic ride, so it feels a lot softer. Um, but I wish that it would get a little bit tighter in sport and track mode. So for touring and eco and weather, whatever, that makes total sense. But I'm in sport mode right now, and I still feel like it could be just a little less body roll. Do you know what I mean, teams? Doesn't it feel a little bit soft? Yeah, like, but I like that. And stuff? I mean, it's super comfortable. And I again, feel like I'm floating. Yeah, this is a stingray. I'm on a cloud. Yeah, that's the magnetic ride. Um, Which, who really knows what that feels like, but you know. <laughs> you know, like you're in a bed. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let's hear some downshifts here. I need something else happening. And so I noticed when you downshift, hold on, let's get a little acceleration. <laughs> so zero to like 80, this car's really fast. It launches really well, it has a ton of grip, and it's faster than even the Z06 model, zero to 60 was before, with 150 less horsepower. So that's super impressive. Um, but the rolling, when you're just like driving along and you wanna step on it, it doesn't give me that same sensation of speed and power and sound than the Z06 did. It's funny, I was watching Street Speed's video when he was saying that this feels just as good as the McLarens and the other supercars and stuff that he's driven. I, I don't necessarily agree with that as far as the handling goes. I just think, I wish that the suspension was a little bit stiffer. It doesn't have that same feeling that the GTR gave me where every bump and every turn and every like, like crease in the road, it wanted to be back down on the road. This doesn't give me that sensation. I don't know if it's the magnetic ride control. Um, it's it's good, don't get me wrong. It's, it, but it still feels like a sports car to me and not a super car. And I think that's the difference. And again, it is, it's a base model. It's a base model that starts at $60,000. So that makes sense. But I, I, maybe once it's broken in, it'll have a little more power. Maybe I'll get a little bit more used to it. But comparing to the Z06 version of this, and the GTR from AMG, um, it's not on that level in my opinion. So there you go guys, that's the um, delivery of our new 2020 C8 Corvette. Uh, we will be keeping this car, uh, at least until the Z06 arrives. Um, and um, first impressions, first thoughts, first feelings, I'm sure these are gonna change over time, but it's a really, really good car. Um, the mid-engine feel is totally different than the C7 was. Um, and I think both of them are fun in their own ways. But yeah, I mean, looks wise, I think it looks like an exotic supercar. The interior is incredible. Better than most of the exotic supercars I've been in because it's so new and so nice. The digital dash, all that stuff's awesome. The dual clutch, just as good as the exotics. Um, my really only beef with it is the sound inside is not loud enough for me, um, which is easily changed with the exhaust. And the suspension, I, I wish was a little bit tighter and I don't really know if there's anything to do about that. I think that the whole point of why I got mag ride was I thought that 
it would be allow the touring to be like softer and then sport and track to be a little bit more aggressive. I don't really feel a big difference when I go through the different modes, but again, it's a base model, so forgivable. And um, yeah, that's about it. Teens, what do you think? I love it. Yeah, it's a perfect <laughs> car for teens. It's safe, it's comfortable, it's still fast. Uh, it's really easy to drive. And, uh, badass car so Corvette knocked it out of the park if you guys have questions videos you want to see ideas for uh, videos drop them in the comment section below make sure you're following my, my channel turn the bell notification on so you don't miss videos uh, s1000 videos are coming uh, we've just been waiting on parts and people to work on the bike because of the quarantine and everything um, and then make sure you're subscribed to Christina's channel like I said technically it's her car so she gets the final say in all this stuff thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time